Speaking of this person, Ronald Walston, Pumpkin, did there come a time when he went away to prison in the 1990s? Yes. Okay, well, he was away in prison in the 1990s. Do you know who was running 8th and Butler for him? His brother. All right, who is his brother? Tibius, Tibby. Okay, his brother Tibius or Tibby, was that Tibby Flowers? Yes. I'm showing you what's marked as Government Exhibit 280. Do you recognize this person? Yes, Tibby. That's Tibius Flowers? Yes. There's two pictures of him, actually. There's a regular face shot here on the left and another shot. Did you know Tibius Flowers to be a boxer? Yes. Move in 280, Your Honor. It may be admitted. Mr. Coleman, did you know Kabani Savage to have any kind of compartments in any of his cars? He had a Toyota Camry at one time. All right. Are you aware of and had you seen a compartment in that car? Yes, it was at the bottom of, it was under the floorboard of the car. Under the floorboards? Under the floorboards, yes. Where was that car kept? He would park it on 6th Street sometimes because it would be out of the way and not in front of his house. Whose house was it near when it was on 6th Street? My mom's house. Okay, what was kept, if you know, in the floorboards in the compartment in that car? Cocaine. All right, are you familiar with a person known to you as Stephen Northington? Yes. All right, who did you meet Stephen Northington through? Well, I first met Stephen Northington through Tyrone Tolliver, and then Elliot Bradley was around then, but I didn't really get to really officially be around him until he became friends with Kabani Savage. All right, so you knew Stephen Northington earlier from what? Being around the way. Being around the neighborhood? Being around the neighborhood, yes. All right, did Stephen Northington have any nicknames that he went by? Smoke. Okay, you mentioned that you met him through Tyrone Tolliver. Who is Tyrone Tolliver? He was a friend of mine. You just mentioned a moment ago that you didn't get to know Stephen Northington well until after he became friendly with Kabani Savage. To your knowledge, when did Kabani Savage and Stephen Northington become close friends? When he came home from jail? When who came home from jail? When Kabani Savage came home from jail. All right, did Kabani Savage mention to you where he met Stephen Northington then? I think they got tied in jail. Okay. When after both Kabani Savage and Stephen Northington had been released from jail, how often would you see Stephen Northington? Every day. Okay, where would Stephen Northington hang out? He would hang out with us. When you say us, who is us? All of us, me, Bubby, Dawood, Wayne, everyone that came to the house every day. Approximately how many people would come out to the house every day? It would start off between the time that he would get up and by the end of the day, it would be like 11 of us or 12 of us at the house all day. Okay, was Kabani Savage's family at the house as well when you were there? Yes. Okay, when this gathering of people would be at the house, where would you usually stay inside the house? We would stay in the basement or we would all be in the basement. Okay. This person that you described as Stephen Northington or Smoke, do you see Stephen Northington in court today too? Yes. Point him out for me, please. He's right there. I'll stipulate to the ID, Your Honor. The record will show that the witness made the identification. All right, Mr. Coleman, did there come a time in 1998 when you became aware of a homicide that had been committed at 8th and Butler regarding someone who later became known to you as Kenneth Lassiter? Yes. Where were you in March of 1998 when Kenneth Lassiter was killed? I was not there. When you say you were not there, where were you? I was incarcerated at the time. Now, when you eventually got out from your period of incarceration, was that one of your supervised release violations? Yes. And when the, or probation or parole violations rather, is that what that was? Yes, yes. 
When you got out, did you have a conversation at some point with Kabani Savage about what had occurred on 8th and Butler in 1998? It was a short conversation where he was explaining to me, not explaining, we was just talking. He said everything wouldn't have went down if I was there. If who was there? Me. Where were you when you had this conversation with Kabani Savage? Well, we was in a car riding together. And was there anybody else in the car when this occurred? No. And what did, did Kabani Savage explain what he meant that he wouldn't have done it if you had been there? Because he knew that I would have never let him do it? Did Kabani Savage tell you what in fact he had done? Shooting. It was over an argument over a bump of a car and that's when he really opened up to me. He said I knew if you were there I would never have did that. Aside from the fact that it was a shooting and the bumping of a car, did he tell you where this had occurred? Ethan Butler. And did he tell you who else? Did Kabani Savage tell you who else was present when this shooting happened? Yes, Anthony, Ricardo, Rick. What did he say about Rick or Anthony? Like he put Anthony, Rick in a bad situation. Is that what Kabani Savage told you? Yes. All right. Did he tell you anything else about the other people that were present at the scene at the time of the shooting at 8th and Butler in 1998? Tippy and this young boy named Corey are the ones who saw the whole thing. All right. When you say this young boy named Corey, do you know who Corey was? Corey was Tibius' friend, young boy. When you say he, it was a young boy, were you aware of any business relationships or anything that they did together? Yeah, he was his business friend at 8th and Butler. When you say he was his business friend, who are you referring to? Tibius took over 8th and Butler. Tibby took over 8th and Butler after Pumpkin went to jail. His right hand and his underling was Corey. Okay, what if anything did Kabani Savage say to you about the fact that these other people, Tibby and Corey, were out on the street when this murder happened. That they was telling on him. Did there come a time when Kabani Savage talked to you about Tibby telling on him? That's how he found out that Tibby was snitching on him. Your Honor, if I could object and place a date or a time or a rough estimate when this conversation occurred? Yes. After the conversation in the car, sometime after March of 1998, did you have a conversation with Kabani Savage with regard to Tibby testifying against him? Yeah, he told me. Your Honor, just a minute. Before you tell us what he did, could you tell us approximately what time frame this was or how long after the car conversation that you had with him was? I don't remember the exact date and time on everything. Okay, well, given the dates of March 19th of 1998, the date of the shooting, and... Were you eventually arrested with Kabani Savage on September 10th of 1999 in Maple Shade, New Jersey? Yes. Was it sometime between March of 1998 and September of 1999? Yes. Can you be any more specific as to when within that time frame of 98 to 99 that conversation occurred? No, we was together so much every day. We don't look at dates and times. But did it happen sometime obviously after the shooting in 1998, but before the time you were arrested with Kabani Savage in Maple Shade? Yes. So what did Kabani Savage tell you then about Tibby Flowers testifying against him? That Tibby and the young boy were snitching and he told me that Pumpkin was going to handle the situation about his brother? All right. You mentioned that Kabani Savage was close with Pumpkin? Yes. All right. Could you describe that relationship a little better? Between him and Pumpkin? Yes. They was like brothers. You couldn't separate them. You see him, you see him. Was Kabani Savage closer to... Well, let me say, was Kabani Savage closer to Pumpkin than Tibius Flowers was closer to Pumpkin? They was brothers, but he was jealous of the relationship between him and Kabani. Who was jealous? Tibby was jealous of the relationship between Pumpkin and Kabani. Was Kabani Savage close to Tibby Flowers? No, not at all. 
When you say no, not at all, what was the nature of their relationship as you saw it? Kabani never liked Tibby. All right, earlier on we mentioned this apartment in Grant Gardens. Have you been to that apartment, the Grant Gardens apartment? Yes. Okay, is that the one you referred to earlier that was leased by Martin Meacham? Yes. What occurred at that apartment? We would compress cocaine there too. When you say we would compress cocaine, who is we? Me, Kabani, Bree, sometimes Marmar and Bub would come over and I would do it for them, whatever came in at that time. You just mentioned a person named Bree. Could you tell me who is Bree? Bree is Kareem Bluntly. He was Kabani's godbrother. I turned my back for a moment. He was Kabani Savage's what? Supposed godbrother. Showing you Government Exhibit 255, then, do you recognize this person? Yes. Who is that? Bree, Kareem Bluntly. I believe this has already been entered into evidence. If not, I will do it now. Exhibit 255? I believe it has. Mr. Troyer, it's 1130. Perhaps we ought to take a recess. Certainly. Ladies and gentlemen, go out and relax for 15 minutes. We'll bring you back. Don't discuss the case among yourselves.